Did you recently impulsively chop off all your hair? And do you now regret it because you have no idea how to style it and it doesn't look like your Pinterest board at all? Well, I have a solution for you. Today, I'll show you how my hair went from that flat mess to defying the laws of gravity. Today, I will be giving you a little tutorial on how I style my hair. It's actually been maybe two months, two-ish, three-ish months since I cut my hair so it is like semi long but not super long it's around shoulder length and if you want to see the video on how I cut my hair and what I did I'll link it down in the description anyways without me yapping and yapping and yapping let's get started on how I actually style my hair Okay, so I kind of messed up on that part, but I try to fix it a little, and sometimes it takes a couple of tries. And that is the first strand. Basically, what I do is I take a random chunk of hair from my head, usually around an inch wide, and I just curl it by bringing it downwards at first, and I shimmy the iron as I am curling it down and outwards and towards the end I try to make it more curved by just holding the iron there. Sometimes that doesn't work too well and I kind of have to just use my fingers to mold it into the shape that I want. And towards the very end of that chunk of hair I use my flat iron and I kind of just flick it upwards almost to help with that swoopy shape. If all of this is sounding a little too confusing Basically, you want to curl outwards from your face rather than inwards and don't twist your straightener around too much. You just bring it down and upwards towards the end. Again, curl upwards. So then it kind of like adds a little more poof to the front. Also, this is a little side note, but I found that the type of straightener I use really does make a difference in the final result. The straightener I used before I got this one was really bad and it kind of just burnt my hair and my hair did not hold its shape even when I use 10 gallons of hairspray. But using a ceramic straightener I've just found that my hair just stayed in its shape longer and I also don't need to use any hairspray which is pretty nice because I would always get it in my eyes. Also if you're trying this hairstyle on your hair that is attached to your head and not a wig, I highly suggest getting a heat protectant. I've been doing my hair like this for a while now without heat protectant, and let's just say my hair feels like dead grass. This is what one side looks like. It definitely has a lot more volume than this side. <laughs> so now I'm just gonna do the same thing with this side. Once again, to style the other side of my hair, I am using the same method as before where I kind of pull down the iron and then shimmy it out and towards the end, I kind of just leave it there so that it forms kind of a backwards C shape almost. If you wanted to frame your face more, you could curl the parts that are more towards your face inwards. I personally don't do it that often because I just like the look of having everything go in the same direction but it'll still look pretty cute if you curl it inwards. Now time to do the bangs. All I do is I just curl it downwards and my bangs right now are really long so they're kind of snapping into my eyes but it's fine after you curl them. Basically I just take like the entire bang part and I grab it make it go 
up, shimmy down, and then curl it inwards. And that's what it looks like. Here's a more close-up look at how I do my bangs, but it is pretty self-explanatory. I just take my bangs and curl them inwards towards my forehead. You don't have to do this part, but sometimes I'll just take little parts of my hair towards the side of my head and curl them upward so they look like little horns or antennae. This is what the hair looks like as of right now. Lastly, for the back of the hair. Now, I cannot see at all what I am doing at the back, but I just take random little sections again and curl them upwards so that kind of looks somewhat styled at the back, but usually I don't try too hard to make it look perfect. What I do is I just feel around the back of my head with my hand and see which parts still need to be curled. Let me unplug the strainer so that I do not burn down my house. Also, you can use the residual heat from the iron to fix up any spots that you missed or if you just want to make any parts extra, uh, you know. Now, I know I said earlier that I don't really use hairspray when I use that strainer, but for the purpose of this video, I will show you the way that I hairspray my hair for extra volume. All you do is you just flip your head, just flip that upside down, and then you shake it a little, well, it's not like half shake, but then you just put it wherever. After that, just massage in the hairspray, and I also like to add more hairspray towards the top half of my head for extra volume. And then you can bring those parts forward or back, whatever you want. So obviously, this is very poofy, and there's a lot of volume, but you know, usually throughout the day it'll calm down a little. And now I will do a little 360 so y'all can see what it looks like once it's styled. And that brings us to the end of the video. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this at least somewhat helpful. If you liked the video, please thumbs up. Maybe even subscribe, I mean. If you're feeling extra kind. But you don't have to. I mean, I would appreciate it. And you know, like, I feel like I'm just kidding. It's fine. But, um, yeah. This is the end of the video. See you next time. Goodbye.